Hey guys. Hey guys. We're on our way to Nagano to see snow monkeys. As you can see, it's very cold. And we're on a night bus and we wanted to show you the night bus because this is so cool. Num number one tip to traveling. Always get overnight buses. Yes. You save on a hotel and you get there bright and early at the location. And here's the best thing about this night bus. In case it rains. So that you can sleep. And I have a blanket to stay nice and warm because I'm not warm enough <laughs> in this. And there's even outlets and a TV. Wow. And we only paid $50 each round trip. Pretty great for Japan prices. That's very good. So next time you hear from us, we'll be in Nagano. Okay, very exciting update. We just realized that the feet of our chairs go up. This is what it's like sitting first class in an airplane. I would imagine. What? What is it? Go back. We are in the winter wonderland known as Narnia. Nagano. Nagano, just kidding. It's Look. freezing and beautiful. Off to see the monkeys. But I got this monkey right here. So we're at the monkey farm, the zoo, monkey, monkey farm monkey or park, zoo. and Brenna feels like she's at home. It's not a monkey farm or zoo, they're wild monkeys. This is what happens when you've lived in Florida your whole life and then you're in a place that has snow. You stop every second to take a picture of snow on trees, so white. snow on the ground, snow on the other trees. I'm starving and we're never gonna get anywhere because of this little Floridian. Hey Joey. right now. I don't know if you can tell. That's like real snow flurries. Our toes are finally starting to thaw and now we're having some yummy food. We found the only American food place pretty much in Nagano. Got french fries, hot cocoa, and we have some chicken and rice bowls on the way. And then what are we gonna do after? Have you ever heard of the Arctic Plunge? We're not doing the Arctic Plunge. We'll probably make snow angels and have a snowball fight and build a snowman. Day two in Nagano. Just got up from our hostel and we're here. Snow uh, melted overnight, uh, so it's not as snowy. Still That's snow. Okay. Yes, and we are gonna just have a little bit of a misadventure today. We're getting breakfast at the convenience store because in Nagano, nothing opens until like really, and we're cheap. really late, and we like cheap food. For breakfast, Joey got what is that? It's a rice burger. A rice burger. Know that was a thing. So we are 
right there. <laughs> well, my and the goal is, is to go right there. Now that seems really close, <laughs> but but, but it says four, four hour, hour walk. walk. Please tell our 86 viewers the mistake you made. You'll see it on the map. I'm oh, sure it's a visual. Okay. So the, you, we are there. Uh huh. We are actually where it says you are here. Oh, so we're really far. So that's where we're at. So that's why it would be four hours. And it actually says you are here, so that makes more sense. Oh no. Oh, so are we gonna walk? Yes. Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. We are about 17 minutes into our five hour journey and I'm a little bit regretting not just spending the $9 to take the bus. <laughs> Very anticlimactic. What are you doing? That was a good throw. You got my butt all wet. The creature in her natural habitat. Good thing she can't throw farther than three meters. And now her hands are freezing cold. Her little mitten socks. Guys, there's monkeys just wandering the streets. This is so cool. Look at them. Hey, buddy. <laughs> That's how far we've come. We started there. And we've got all that to go. Yay, we're so close. Yeah. Look at this. this is Nagano. So beautiful. Zoe and I made up a song to remember the name of our station. Okay. You, you, Danaka. Copyright. You, Danaka. You, you, Danaka, Naka. You, Danaka. And now we'll never forget. So we found this magical winter wonderland. We've been looking for just a huge field to play in. So it's on the side of the road and we're just gonna climb over this and then find our way down. There's a river that we have to figure out how to cross, but there's some kind of a shady bridge here, so I'm sure it'll be okay. And we're gonna make snow angels and build a snowman and have a snowball fight. Whoa, this is deep snow. Look how deep this is. Okay, we just had a snowball fight. Joey has lived in Florida as long as me, but he was like elf. He was making snowballs so fast. So snowball fights are not my strong suit. And now we're gonna make a snowman. Okay guys, this is snowman building 101 from a Floridian, but it's still good advice. You just take your snowball. Oh, oh, it's getting heavy. You just take your snowball and then you roll it to gather more snow. But once it gets really heavy. D DIY, how to build a snowman. Didn't Charlie Brown explain this pretty well? It's not as easy as this looks. Okay, now for the most fun part of building a snowman. Well, I actually feel like really connected to him. Yeah. And I feel like you're not. I'm, I'm, I'm a little. Like I honestly think he's like our child. <laughs> but do you have your way with him. Okay. <laughs> I just flopped down in the snow. It's really so comfortable. 
This is way more comfortable than the bus I slept on two nights ago. And I don't even feel that cold. Which I think is what happens right before you die of hypothermia. Your whole body just gets warm. And then you fall asleep. So basically my goals for this day were build a snowman, have a snowball fight, make snow angels. And we just did all of that and it was so fun. I won at the snowball fight yeah. and I won at the snow making, snowman making contest and I won at- No, you well, did not make good snow angels. No, no, not the snow angels, the snowman. We did that together. Did we? Okay, so for like the last hour and a half, we've just been adventuring around and I'm a horrible vlogger and didn't document any of it, so sorry. But we are really, really cold and hungry. So we're gonna try and hitchhike home and see how that goes. I've never hitchhiked in Japan before, so it will be an experience. Joey has, right Joey? It's the only way I get around. Not true. It stopped for us. Uh, uh, we're going to Yudanaka. Okay. <laughs> Arigato. Arigato. So Don't let me order that again. The guy who picked us up um, is a semi-professional snowboarder yeah. and skier who like competed skier, skier. in the X Games and he's like a surfer and stand-up paddleboarder in the summer so so cool he gave us like brochures and stuff this is him on the brochure so that was pretty cool and he took us right to where we needed to go so now we're at our favorite lunch place and we're gonna get some french fries a little ways I guess and we're looking for wakabaya. Now we're going to get gelato. Even though it's like 30 degrees, it's never actually too cold for gelato. Never. Our caramel Oreo gelato. Cheers. So we had our gelato and then Joey and I had the biggest snowball fight ever. Literally, ever. Look at my face. Oh. <gasps> Joey I won. hit me so hard with snowballs, with snow. <gasps> so don't ever have a snowball fight with Joey because he shows no mercy. Look at this. And I think I'm probably gonna have bruises on my body because he pegs you with these snowballs so hard I fell down. But anyways, we're gonna head home from Nagano after a wonderful long day of playing in the snow and eating yummy food. Thanks for watching our vlog. Joey has hiccups. <laughs> Thanks for watching our vlog. Tune in next time. Bye. Bye. It's like that part of the new when the new uh, casters like don't know the cameras are still rolling and they're like, "Whoa, finally done that, over." <laughs> okay, bye guys.